not only you know is playoff hockey a, a physical grind, but the mental aspect of, of playoff hockey is something I just I just love. Desperation, um, every shift counting, every game, the grind, um, just the whole experience. Just something throughout my career I've always you know, liked to elevate in the playoffs. We were proud of the fact that we were able to take home ice back. Um, winning game one there was a huge huge feat for us. So we knew we had to take care of things on our home ice and. Um, being 1-1, game three was a massive game. Um, to be able to go up 2-1 with two more games at home was huge. So I think the, the message in the room was to just get back to playing our game. And when we're playing our best, we're playing simple. We're getting pucks deep and we're finishing checks. It's not anything crazy. So we just knew we had to get back to that desperation and, and play Griffin's hockey. You know, the energy was high right in the beginning of the building when the game started. And for them to score that early kind of sucked a little bit of the wind out of the sails. But this whole season we've come back from behind. We've had some, some high adversity wins this season. I think that prepared us for that moment to know that you know, it's still going to be a 60 minute battle. And if we play the right way for the remaining you know, 55 minutes, uh, the outcome should come out in our favor. I think our line has done a good job of you know, trying to grind and wear their defense down low. And that was just one of those cases where we were you know, taking, taking care of the puck and the puck came low to me. I uh, was able to win a battle off my defenseman and I actually saw Callie back door. Um, so I tried to rip it back door as hard as I could, hit one of their guy's skates and um, Nate was in the right place at the right time and was able to have a nice finish there. We felt like we were not quite there yet, but getting close to playing our game and um, you know they come down the wall and they're able to score one far side. Uh, um, you know, maybe the, the first goal, the, what that did to the feeling on the bench, maybe prepared us for the second goal of theirs. We just knew that it's still early in the hockey game. We had a long way to go and just to stick to our game plan. The second period was a huge, uh, huge step for us. Um, it was kind of a, a foundation for the third. Um, they went down to 5D um, because of our physicality and we just continued to get pucks deep, play simple, um, had some pretty good chances that period. Gave up a few as well, but I think we started to finally realize that when we played the right way, it, it would pay off in the long run. The, the power play is effective when we're shooting pucks and uh, that was one of those cases where there was some quick puck movement and Marty just ripped it towards the net. And uh, you know Matt Laredo has shown all year that he can be creative in space. That was one of those cases where he made a beautiful move to go back in and then to his forehand to tie things up. We started off playing pretty well defensively. We were able to get back to pucks and started with kind of a simple breakout. And um, you know I had a little bit of a head of steam and I uh, was feeling pretty confident about taking puck to the middle, trying to use my size to create some space. And, uh, Callie did a good job of fanning out and was able to sauce one over to him and he threw one back and was able to grab it, go forehand, take it to my forehand and I thought I saw some room through his arm and tried to jam it through and he made an unbelievable save but the puck still trickled behind him and um, the persistency of our team to just know that until the whistle goes we're going to play hard and we took a couple whacks and sure enough Callie got to the blue paint and was able to bang one home. We had been working so hard all night, they, they have a really good goaltender over there and um, to get rewarded on one of those blue collar plays was a huge momentum boost and you know, at the same time we knew we had to refocus and we were in for a tough three minutes of trying to shut the door. We'd be really naive to, to, to think that we can just show up on Friday and the same thing's going to happen. Um, you know, we play with a level of desperation in that game that um, helped give us an edge and I think we're going to see their best game of the series Friday night. We just have to be prepared to match their intensity, um, play the same physical strong game and um, hopefully things go out in our favor.